Want to go to the gym? Do you want to go to the gym? Let's go. Josh and I built this because we prefer to lift down here and have our own equipment and not be around people. <laughs> and I'm just going to kind of show you guys what we have and we'll go through like what we got. Um, it's a little bit more affordable than like going all out with straight up rogue equipment, but it's still like we kind of got everything in steps. We didn't buy everything all at once, so we collected the stuff over time, and I'd say we have a pretty good setup. So, first things first is the squat rack. Josh got me this for my birthday last year. Mm -hmm. It's pretty solid. We got it at Dick's for how much? I believe 400 ish. 400 ish. Without the bench, without anything, without just the rack. The bar, just the rack is 400. The Might bar, be 350. Um, and then the this bar and the bench we also got at Dick's too. So we had a older, less sturdy bench over there. This one can handle what, like up to 600 pounds with your body weight. So Josh can use that one. And then the bumper plates we did get from Rogue. We splurged on those just because they're bumper plates. Um, and then the normal 45s here. We also got it, Dix, right? Uh huh. Um, you can get stuff like that, like off Craigslist. I mean, there's options. Bumper plates, I would say, you definitely want to splurge on those because, I mean, I don't know, you can't really find old bumpers that are in good condition. So we have those. We have some 10 and 5 pound weights. These clips, I think I got on Amazon for like. 20 bucks all of these bands you can get anywhere so Amazon has some a couple are from rogue they're just your basic super bands and different resistance strengths and then the flooring we got is actually um, what's it called horse tar horse tar horse stall, stall mats. mats horse so stall mats it's for like a barn but a lot of people use it in their gyms i think it works really well you could ideally do your whole floor with it if you wanted to we kind of just did a few different sections um so this is like the squat rack bench pull-up section so this was the bench that we had with the rack they actually didn't have that when i bought the rack um so this is the only bench i had there it only lets you hold up to 400 pounds with your body weight um so that obviously wasn't very useful for me so we'll use this for the dumbbells. I mean, we can go a little heavier than the 400 pounds. It's not gonna be a big deal, but we'll be able to use that. So we just threw that over here with the mat. We just ordered Iron, Mast, Iron Master. Yep. We just ordered Iron Master quick adjust dumbbells. So we had these before for our dumbbells, which work fine, but you can only put like 50 pounds on them before you run out of room. These loosen up all the time. And if you're going heavy, you're not balancing that on your leg. So. These got awesome reviews and they actually do adjust very quickly so you're not spending two minutes taking everything apart. Let's pull that up. You line this up, there's a lock on the top. So you just swivel that around. If I can do it. <laughs> that comes out. These interlock, so you just stick those in. And then you don't actually tighten this, you tighten it, but it's not like you're screwing it all the way in. It'll self-tighten once it's in. So you line it back up, come up a little bit, twist that up and that's locked and that's not going anywhere so very easy very fast much faster than spinning everything apart and then this i actually used this growing up this is the first thing i ever started working out on this is my dad's he bought this years ago it's not started. even on google like they don't, it's not a company anymore. i tried to google it and you can't even find it but so. this old school stuff is the best stuff you can use like they start getting too they think about the new stuff a little too much instead of going with just the basics and that's when you're getting the best movement patterns and they're doing the best things is when it's just the basic stuff and the machines aren't taking away the weight. So this is the first thing I ever started working out on and then we inherited it when we moved into this place. So you got your basic Smith machine, you got a fly deck, everything's plate loaded from the back, which you have more plates on the corner on that tree. 
from the top we have pull downs so we can do our lat pull downs we can do the tricep press downs all that stuff there's another one on the bottom we can use for rows or any kind of curl or raises um, on the bench itself you can actually do leg extensions and leg curls with this attachment this slides out and you can put in the preacher so you can use that for the free weight stuff or spin it around you can do your your cable preachers whatever you want to do another weight tree some more attachments extra dumbbell stuff easy bar this is all the kind of stuff that we collected as we went so we didn't just go and buy everything at once you can spend like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars so if you need something go grab one thing at a time weights regardless of whether you're doing like plates or like dumbbell plates everything's basically a dollar per pound unless you find a good sale occasionally you can get it closer to 50 cents but if you do that snatch them all up but collect that stuff a little bit by little bit um, do yourself a favor instead of doing a huge budget all at once and they probably make something like similar to this I would say I'll try to find something and link it for you guys um, but like I said this one is like super old you can't even find it I mean unless you found it on eBay or Craigslist or something and then the last little section of our home gym is the Olympic lifting section I just got two more of those horse stall mats we did have um, Josh built me like a platform that I used to have in the garage if you guys have watched like older videos from last year um, I don't think it's really necessary down here I think this is fine it's not like I'm doing the Olympic lifts every day and trying to compete I just do them for fun so I have the Bella bar from Rogue I did splurge on the bar it was like two or three hundred dollars it wasn't that bad but it's for Olympic lifting and it's a women's bar so it has its smaller circumference I guess um, so yeah, we're going to put another flag over here, and then we do also have a little, or a big <laughs> punching bag. What's it called? A heavy bag? A heavy bag. She doesn't even know. I bought her I gloves. gloves. I bought her gloves like two years ago. She's put on twice. Well, I, we, we have didn't gloves. Have we have mitts. Use. This was at Josh's parents' house for, like, buried in the basement for a while, so I didn't really have anywhere to use them, but... Now that we have it, I'll use it. That's how she punches too. Being a short person comes in handy down here. We do have high ceilings, but I can actually jump rope down here because I'm so short, so. Perks of being a little person. <laughs> and then if you just want to show them the lights. And to make everything bright, like when we film down here, if you guys see training videos, I have these um, cheapo photography lights. I'll link them there on Amazon. They come in handy because they really make everything a lot brighter, even though we do have a couple windows. But that's pretty much our setup. We have everything that we could possibly need right now. I mean, maybe we'll add a couple little things here and there over time, but as far as your basics, this is more than enough. So, so this is our home gym. Hopefully you guys like it. I will link everything in the description box if you are interested in starting your own home gym I would say what would you say are like the first three things someone should buy a rack a bench a solid bench and, and a bar well they need weights I meant a bar I meant all of the whole rack setup yeah if then. you're gonna do it piece by piece I would start with this this would be step one your bench your rack your bar and your weights and then step two would be just grabbing some dumbbells so a lot easier now is those Iron Master because those are adjustable so you can go from 5 all the way up to 75. They have another attachment you can buy for up to make it up to 120 and then another one to go up to 160. So I would do this first and then buy the Iron Master dumbbells and from there you're good to go. Everything else we have is basically just extras like yeah, stuff. So we, we have everything we could possibly need down here. Mm -hmm. um, but the basics if you want to just get just what you need and keep it on a budget, rack, bench, barbell and those adjustable dumbbells. So thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we will see you in the next one, which will hopefully be a training video since we haven't done one of those in like a really, really long time besides the hotel one. See you in the next one. Bye.